and welcome to Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys. Coming up for you today is a Barcelona news roundup. We're going to be talking about today's trading session. We're also going to be talking there about the imminent return of La Liga. That's all very, very exciting. And we're also going to be talking transfers, players staying at the club, players potentially leaving the club. There are six players that Barcelona feel are expendable and can be used in the immediate future to generate some money. Who are those players and should they be leaving? It's all coming up. In today's video, let's get to it. But if we start with that morning training session, because the Barcelona squad there were back in action out on the field this morning in those two groups still in La Liga, you are only permitted there to have groups of up to 10 players each. And we should expect some news very, very soon from La Liga on exactly when we can make that transition there into that final phase of training, which will be the full training sessions that we're usually used to. And that'll be really, really exciting when all of that gets going again. But like I say, the players were back in training this morning. And I'm sure many of you yesterday will have noticed the Lionel Messi video that's been going around. Messi there in training, basically taking on the whole team, but just looking so good, so fresh, so energised. And that's exactly really what we were discussing in yesterday's video about the players' condition, about the whole squad and how everybody's feeling right now. There's a real positive energy surrounding the team, and that's fantastic news. It really, really is very, very exciting stuff. And like I say, very soon we should hear there some official news on La Liga and exactly what we could expect there in the first few rounds of the season. Barcelona tomorrow will have a rest day from training, but they will be back on Friday. And like I say, that return now to football is getting ever closer for Barcelona. But if we do indeed move on to the transfer latest, starting here with players who are staying at the club, starting with Ansu Fati, who appeared this morning on the cover of Sport. And as you can see there, the headline, Ansu Untouchable. And that is exactly what the article goes on to say. They say there that Barcelona have made it very, very clear, not only to Ansu Fati, but also those surrounding him, particularly there, his father, that Ansu's future is very much at Barcelona. They count on him, even despite the offers they've received from Borussia Dortmund. They also also go on there to mention an unknown bid from a Premier League club for Ansu Fati, but sports say that Barcelona have no intention of listening there to any offers for him, not even loan deals this summer, for the breakout star of the coming season. And sport actually go on to say there that right now the plan is for Ansu Fati to continue there in the first team dynamic under Kike Setien, continue there to show his worth in training. He will get minutes there, he will get opportunities out on the field to show his worth as well. And they do go on to say that even there with the return in the coming months of Ousmane Dembele and also of course potential new signings coming in to that forward line. Barcelona still believe that Ansu will get enough chances, will get enough opportunities and for that reason there won't be any temptation this summer to allow him to leave. And I think for all of us really with regard to Ansu Fati, a young exciting player who's there developed from our academy coming into the first team, that's what we all want to see. We don't want to see him going off to another club even there if it's on loan. We want to see him developing in a Barcelona shirt. We want to see him improving, getting chances in the Barcelona colours. And of course, he's got to get those chances. We don't want to see him here, his development come to a halt. We don't want to see him sitting on the sidelines every single week. We still want to see him getting his chance in the team. But if that can come in a Barca shirt, we'll be very, very grateful for that because this is what we want. We love those young players emerging onto the scene, grabbing their chance and succeeding. Another exciting player who is going to be staying put at Barcelona this summer is Arthur Mello. And I want to go over this just again. Obviously, I've said this many, many times already over the past few weeks. But just to make it absolutely crystal clear... Arthur Mello is going nowhere. Now, you may hear in Italy, you may hear in Spain reports coming out and saying that Juventus really want Arthur Mello, that Juventus have made so many offers there to sign Arthur Mello, and that Barcelona are open to those offers. But you know who's not open? Arthur. He is not going. Juve really want him. They still do really want him. But... Arthur has no intention of leaving the club this summer. And Rack 1 have come out this afternoon. They've said that actually yesterday Arthur met with the club behind the scenes there with the management. Basically to say, I'm not going. I don't want to leave. And he's refused to move on that stance. Which basically means now that overall, over the past few weeks, Arthur has told his agent that he doesn't want to go. He's admitted it publicly that he's happy at Barcelona and he wants to remain here. And now he's also gone private and told the club behind the scenes, I am staying. And that's exactly what he's going to do. He's going nowhere. And the Barcelona board can do nothing about that. 
However, aside from Ansu Fati and aside there from Arthur Mello, there are still players at Barcelona who are on the borderline when it comes to leaving the club. With Barcelona this morning, according to MD, highlighting six in particular that they feel they can sell, get some money in for, bring in some revenue, not only there to go out and sign the players that we want to, but also there to bring in the revenue the club budgeted for. We need to get some funds and we need to do it now. And Barcelona feel as though these six players are all good opportunities to bring in some funds. The first player on the list is, of course, Jean-Claire Todibo, a player who, unfortunately, whether we like it or not, every single time we're talking about player sales, he's a guy who inevitably comes up. And like I said before, with every passing day, his exit from Barcelona, sadly, is looking more and more likely. Right now, Everton are a club who's shown real interest in Todibo, even though, as of right now, they're yet to make an official offer. They are really, really keen on him, with Carlo Ancelotti in particular, making a real case there to the Everton hierarchy that they need to go out and signing. Barcelona are looking there for around 25 million euros, which is a fee there that Everton probably would be able to pay. And also you've got to take into account here, Barcelona and Everton do have a very, very good relationship. They dealt in the past with deals there like Lucas Digne, Yari Mina, Andre Gomez. There is a good working relationship there between the two clubs. And it is going to be interesting here to keep an eye on Tadebo, to keep an eye on his situation with Barcelona, unfortunately set on selling him. And at number two is another player who's been repeatedly linked with an exit. That is none other than Nelson Semedo. A number of possible destinations for him this summer with a number of clubs very, very interested in acquiring his services. Man City, Juventus, Inter Milan and Barcelona right now. What they're doing is they're exploring every single avenue here for Semedo's possible exit. They're looking at Man City. They're looking at the money there they're going to be offering. They're looking at swap deals with Inter, with Juve. And if they were to sell him outright, Barcelona there would be looking for around 50 million euros. And it does seem as though Semedo is a player the club have looked at and thought, you know what, we can actually do without him. We need that money. Semedo is the man to leave. And they don't really seem concerned about losing what has been pretty much our first choice right back. And to be honest, there are real questions right now over whether Barcelona value the right back position at all, because the third player on the list is another right back, and that is Moussa Wagge, who has, of course, returned from his loan spell at Nice. Now their season is over, and the club seem intent now letting him leave on a permanent deal. MD go on to say the fee in mind for Barcelona with regard to Wagge's potential sale would be anywhere between 8 million euros to 15 million euros. And you remember back in January that West Ham United in the Premier League were very, very in interested in him. We're going to have to wait and see exactly what arises over the coming weeks. But Wagge is a player that Barcelona, once again, in that right back area, they deem expendable. And it's not just right backs either that Barcelona seem to deem pretty much available in the current market because our left back Junior Firpo is also another man on this list. And he's another man who has been linked very much so with an exit over the past few weeks. Signed, of course, as we know last summer from Real Betis for 18 million euros up front with a further 12 million euros there to be paid in variables. And of course, we don't exactly know how many of those variables have already been met in his first season at the club. So we don't know exactly how much we've already spent on Junior Firpo, although Barcelona right now don't seem as though they're trying to target an outright sale of Firpo. They're not going to try and sell him there for the fee that we bought him for or anything like that. What they're doing right now is offering him up in exchange deals. With regard there to Juventus, trying to bring in Miralem Pjanic, with regard to Inter and trying to bring in Lataro. And Inter apparently are quite keen on Junior Firpo. So that's another negotiation that's certainly ongoing, is nowhere near completion. But Firpo is up for exchange. We then move into midfield at number five because that there is Arturo Vidal on the list, even though he recently admitted that he'd be very, very happy next season to continue in Barcelona. But according to MD, as of right now in our midfield, Vidal is more likely to leave than Ivan Rakitic is, which is very, very interesting indeed. Vidal has previously attracted interest, of course, from Inter Milan and much like Junior already over the past few weeks, he's also been offered up in a number of exchange deals. But as of yet, there's been no success when it comes to Vidal. And like I said before, he is happy at the club if he was to continue. If Barcelona, though, go down the route of outright selling him without exchanging him, MD say they'd be looking there for a fee of 15 million euros for the 33-year-old who would be entering the final year 
of his contract. And the final name mentioned at number six is none other than Rafinha Alcantara. It's quite easy sometimes to forget, actually, that we still own Rafinha. He is still a player who I think is actually a very, very good player and underrated. When he's out on the field, he can certainly there give you a number of options in a number of different positions. Now, right now, he is on loan there at Celta Vigo, as we know. He's enjoyed a very good season there, even though they've been struggling. He's been a bright spark in their team. And also, he's been very much injury-free throughout the current campaign, which is absolutely great to see. But once that loan deal expires, MD say that Barcelona have the ambition there of letting him leave on a permanent deal with the hope there of securing 16 million euros for Rafinha Alcantara, which actually matches their Celta Vigo's buy option that they currently have in their deal with Rafinha. Although, due to the current pandemic, I would say it's unlikely right now that Celta would be able to afford Rafinha, which means there Barcelona will be looking to the Premier League. There's interest there in Rafinha from the Premier League, but also there has been interest from Serie A too, with his former club Inter also a potential option. And it's another possible deal that will continue to drag on. And so that there are the six players who have been mentioned with regard there to that immediate exit. Now, I'm not saying these are the only players who are going to be leaving Barcelona. Barca have ambitions to move on a number of players this coming summer. But these are the six that they feel they can do it quite easily without too much fuss. If they get the right deal, if they get the right offers, they can definitely deal without these players. I'm just interested there what you make of those choices. I think certainly in the fullback areas, we're getting rid of a lot of players. Are we going to attempt to bring somebody in? Have we got a plan in mind to actually there replace what we're selling? Because like I said before, we're clearly chasing Lataro. We're clearly chasing there a big money forward signing. But you can't just go there and obliterate the rest of your squad. Just take away a load of defenders to bring in an attacker. It doesn't work like that. Barcelona here have got to have a plan. They've got to have a concrete idea of what they're going to do. And it's going to be interesting to see how the weeks and months develop now with the return of football, how these players, of course, they've still got a part to play in the current season. And it's going to be interesting to see how it all works out in the end. Let me know your thoughts there on the six mentioned. Do you agree with all six? Do you agree with a few of them? Or do you agree with none of them? Let me know all of your comments down below, guys. Thanks, as always, for joining me here for the Barcelona News. I always look forward to hearing your thoughts. And I really, really do appreciate every single one of you who keep coming back and watching the videos. It means the world. And believe me, we are getting closer and closer and closer now to the return of football. Barcelona are on their way back. And our expectations, they are building, whether that's a good or bad thing. I will see you soon, guys. Thanks, as always, for watching. But until next time, as always, Vizca El Barca. Oh.